Now let's move on to the Myanmar or Burmese cuisine. So the food in Myanmar has its own special identity. Although it draws on its neighbors, it is neither as hot as Thai, as spicy as Indian, nor does it resemble to Chinese cooking much except in the stir fry vegetables. Nowadays, various kinds of Myanmar food and snacks are available in the street bowls, uh, market stalls, and restaurants. And for your information, like in the Philippines, rice is also a staple, staple food except those uh, in highland areas where rice is difficult to grow. And in those areas, rice, malay, sorghum, and corn are the staples. So in Myanmar, rice is accompanied by a raw salad of leaves, fruits, or vegetables, a soup, and curries of fish, meat, prawns, or eggs. And in addition to turmeric and chili, curries are seasoned with fermented fish or shrimp paste and a variety of cultivated vegetables and wild greens are eaten as well as bamboo shoots. Now, the countries that border Myanmar, especially the India, China, and Thailand, have influenced Burmese cuisine. Indian influences are found in Burmese versions of dishes such as samosas and biryani and Indian curries, spices and breads such as Naan and Parata and Chitikalaur or Chetyar or the Southern Indian cuisines is also popular in cities. And then Chinese influences in Burmese cuisine are shown in the use of ingredients such as bean curd and soy sauce and various noodles as well as in stir-frying techniques. And as in neighboring countries such as Thailand and Laos, um, fried insects are eaten as snacks. Of all the fruits, mango is the best. Of all the meat, the pork is the best. And of all the leaves, lapets the best. So it is a popular Burmese rhyme that sums up the traditional favorites of Burmese. Now let's devour some of the Burmese cuisine specialties. The first one is the Burmese biryani. It is different from other biryanis mainly because the chicken is cooked with rice and it also features um, cashew nuts, raisins, and paste. And it is a very fragrant dish and you can smell it long before it is ready to eat. And then the second one is the tea leaf salad. So to make the dish, the sour, slightly bitter leaves are mixed by hand with shredded cabbage, sliced tomatoes, um, crunchy deep fried beans, nuts, and peas, and a splash of garlic oil and pungent slices of chili and garlic. The tea leaf salad is a very versatile dish and it can be a snack, an appetizer, or coupled with a plate of rice or a meal. And it's also considered a stimulant because the Burmese says that eating too much lefet to can prevent sleep. Next is the Shan style rice. It is also known in Burmese as Asngadamin. And this Shan dish combines rice that has been cooked with um, turmeric and squash into a dish with a topping of flakes of fresh water oil and um, garlic oil. And it is oily and savory when served with sides of leek roots, cloves of raw garlic, and deep fried pork. And as that, I mean, becomes a snack that runs the gamut from pungent to spicy. And of course, we will not forget the Burmese curry. And as the name suggests, curry is the central element. But after you've chosen one, typically a meaty or somewhat oily curry base around pork, fish, shrimp, beef, or mutton, a seemingly never-ending succession of side dishes will follow. The last one is the Myanmar's unofficial national dish. Uh, which is mohinga. It is fine um, ground rice noodles served in a hearty herbal fish and shallot based broth and it is often supplemented with a crunchy piece of the banana tree. And it's beloved as a breakfast dish but sold by mobile vendors and it's a common snack at any time of the day or night. 